So today, we are not going outside. Uh, I recently discovered that I have a sun sensitivity, so basically I'm allergic to the sun. So I won't be doing that for a while. So today, we have Andy, my friend Andy. I gave him $5,000 and I told him to build me the best keyboards, or like the coolest ones. And this is why I built it, because it's not easy. You haven't built it yet? God. And you came to my place hey, without hey, building hey, it? Hey, 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 I built you five boards right here. Uh -huh. Let me show you all my keyboards, and I'll let Andy explain it. Hi everyone, my name's Andy. I'm Joe Enthusiasm! Hi everyone! <laughs> All right, yeah, take so, two. Go. Hi, everyone. I am Joma's keyboard slave. Four months ago, he told me to build keyboards, and here we have keyboards. So, yeah. How much did I spend? How much do you spend? He spent $5,000, and I think we blew the budget, so probably more mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. yeah, Joma has very high taste, you know, very fine taste. Exactly. All right, let's start explaining. Let's explain this one. So this one is the cheapest one he has. His total cost was $375. This is a Savage 65 by Canon Keys. It has EPBT keycaps with a tea lubed and filmed Telios underneath. The elephants are so cute! <laughs> the elephants, yeah, this is EPBT Ivory. So it's a special keycap set, and part of the proceeds were donated to saving the elephants. Oh, no fucking way. Yeah, that's why there's a little hell? elephant, little like accents and stuff. Wow, like I'm see. a philanthropist. Yes, yeah, such a philanthropist. Yeah. I didn't understand a word you said, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> because but you carry on, carry on. Right. PBT, whatever. All right. So yeah, this is the Canoe Gen 2 by Percent Studios. It includes EPBT Dolch keycaps with cream packa switches. So one of my favorite switches out there. A lot of effort to make, but you know, only the best for Joma. And I forgot to mention, Andy is actually in my dating show. So I recently finished filming, but basically the premise is like um, Terrace House. Three men and three women living together. But instead, during quarantine, we have three men and three women uh, video chatting each other every week in hopes to fall in love, in hopes to pair up. So uh, I have a few clips. I'm not gonna show you the other members and because I don't want you guys to know who they are, but this is what it looks like. As you can tell, it's probably a pain to edit because that's a lot of footage. And the way I handle all of this is through an app called Descript. Uh, which is actually the sponsor of the video. Thank you so much. Uh, which, which I'm super happy about because um, I've been using them uh, for so long for this project. Uh, I get tons of footage, right? Since I get, uh, since they talk for hours and hours together. I don't know why they like each other so, so much, but uh, I'm not gonna listen to their whole conversation. So instead, what I do is I transcribe their conversation so I could skim through it, right? Then all I need to do is upload the video to uh, Descript. And as you can see, it automatically detects the people talking and what they said and turns it into text. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. So I can scroll through the boring conversations and find the juicy bits. I'm literally editing the video by removing text. You're right, and, and, and here's the crazy part. So I'm not a very good speaker, so I make a lot of mistakes. Uh, or I say the wrong things. <laughs> but with overdub, which is a feature, I can literally change what I said in the video. Check this out. Welcome to Six Strangers. There are five contestants on this dating show. Welcome to Six Strangers. There are six contestants on this dating show. So yeah, so unfortunately 90% of the conversations or boring, you know, people aren't as interesting as they think they are. But with the magic of editing with Descript, I can literally turn garbage content into gold by removing all the boring scenes by deleting words uh, they say in the transcript. It's, it's, it's freaking amazing. Anyways, if you're creating a podcast, editing videos, or recording meetings, you should try Descript. You can sign up using uh, the link below. Uh, yeah. Anyways, let's go back to the keyboards. Uh, next, we have... Ah, this one's my favorite. Yeah, this one's Joma's favorite. This is the Gray Studios Think 6.5 version 2. Joma liked it enough that we have two of them. So yeah, so these two are the same keyboards built with different switches. So this one is the Think 6.5 V2 with a cream back. I don't think I can see the cream that well. And a pink top. So this one and this one are both around 650 each. So one's built with Holy Pandas. If anyone's into keyboards, they like the most goaded tactile switch. 
And then this one is built with tropical switches by Bolsa Supply. So they're like alpaca clothes. Everyone whoa, 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 alpaca whoa, whoa, clothes. whoa, 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 whoa. Don't advertise Bolsa Supply okay. without my consent. My bad. Okay? Because I don't give free advertisement. This is true. Matt, can you edit that out and yeah. put something else? I can redo it again. Mm. You want to redo Carry it? Carry on. All right, cool. Yeah, we don't have time. So next one is the E8.5. This is one of the more expensive keyboards. This is about $700, fully built. It has Olivia. I paid 700 for this? Yeah, oh my God. For I don't even like it that much. Wow, we could rebuild it. It's, it's not the right pink, that's the problem. I wanted a black pink themed keyboard. Okay, well, I mean, this is like as close as you can get. Boca Boca key switches. It includes 8.5, and you can do a bunch of cool things to it, like add accents, like this is all for us, and then these are special pink accents or whatever. Next one, this is actually one of the cheaper ones too, this is about 600 fully built, I think, around 600 fully built. This is a KPD Fans KPD 8X Mark II, uh, built with Moyu Blacks and Infinite Key Hive keycaps. So. Feel free to tell some jokes too. I don't have to do jokes, <laughs> keyboards. No, feel free to talk so while, you, uh, while you explain the keyboards because I'm fucking falling asleep. Wow, wow, mm. such a hater. Well, we have this last one. This looks uh, nice. Alright, last one to make a joke. How do we make a joke about a keyboard? I don't know. I don't know if you want to be famous or not. Uh, I'm okay without that. <laughs> this last one is the nicest one. I think this total cost is almost $800 for this one. Ooh. This one is made with GMK Taro, uh, Zaku switches on an aluminum plate. So uh, this is a Primus by, I think it's made by Nexus Project. Nexus Project. So uh, one of the better keyboards out there, throw some foam in it and it sounds pretty amazing. So mm -hmm. what does putting foam in it mean? So when you put foam in it, you actually take a piece of like shelf liner that you buy at Home Depot and you stick it in the case so it doesn't echo as much. And how much, how much? Oh yeah, and then there's a special Gengar. special gift for Joma right here, this little Gengar. That Gengar is like 90 bucks. Ninety dollars. Holy! So, which one is your favorite? This one's my favorite. This one's your favorite. Yeah. Nice. This is. I like the way this sounds the best out of all of them. So. Nice. That's not so good. God. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Do you want to learn what B rolls are? What are B rolls? So you just take this camera and just like. Just press it? Yep. Is, right. is it red or red? If it says record, it means it's recording. Oh, it's recording now. No. Uh, now only oh. is my keyboard slave, he's not my video slave. Oh, that's great. It thrives <laughs> when I insult him. <laughs> now that's actually true. Now he thinks he's playing Star Wars. <laughs> and he's having so much fun. I'm converting him to you. Mm -hmm. There's fucking hair all over this thing. There's hair? There's like hair and shit in here. Why yeah. is it caked up in here, dude? It's, it's cause you know. <laughs> oh no. You know, you know, you know me, man. You know. I do know you and I don't want to touch this board anymore. 